A nightmare situation unfolding for a Mississauga couple who was injured in a car crash in Ohio. The 33-year-old man suffered a serious brain injury, and his wife says a shortage of hospital beds in the GTA means that they are stuck in a Cleveland medical center until space opens up here at home. We pay our taxes. I've never complained about it because I prided our healthcare system, and now when we need it, they're just they're not they're not here. Like home is what's stopping us. Home has made this a nightmare. 31 year old Shukla has been by her husband's side at a Cleveland medical center for nearly a month now. Back on August 18th, as they were leaving a friend's wedding, she says their car slammed into a tree during powerful thunderstorms and tornadoes that hit Geneva, Ohio. Shukla suffered a concussion and a fracture to her neck. Her husband's condition was much worse. Just saw my husband underneath the car. And he was just heaving, so I was trying to like lift, lift up the car to get him out. And that's, I think that's when the cops came. I just kept asking about my husband, and they're just like, they, they're still working on him. Salim suffered bleeding in his brain and injuries to his liver and is now in need of special rehab and would have to be airlifted back home. Shukla says he was set to be discharged from Cleveland 14 days ago, but that's now been delayed because no hospitals in Mississauga or elsewhere in the GTA have room to take him. So then finally, a few days later, Sunnybrook accepted him as a patient, but they, did, they didn't have a, a bed. So then the insurance company was working to bypass the hospital and just go straight into rehab. But none of the rehab centers wanted to accept him. But then finally, Toronto Rehab did. But again, there's no bed, and that's just what we've been waiting on. According to a recent report by the Ontario Council of Hospital Unions, almost 1,100 Ontarians are on waiting lists for beds, an increase of 3.2 percent in one year. The report also found that this past June was the worst on record for hallway medicine for at least a decade, and that some large hospitals, including here in Toronto, are struggling with an adequate provincial funding. Since the crash, Shukla has been sleeping in the waiting area outside her husband's hospital room in Cleveland. Right now they're being told it could be a day, a week or longer before that Toronto rehab bed becomes available. Like I love Canada. I love my home. I was born in Canada and I just, it, they're treating us this way. It's not right. Like we need to go home. He needs to go home. Shukla says their insurance company has been extremely helpful in trying to track down a bed, but it's unclear what kind of bill they'll be on the hook for. She says they'll have to deal with the financial impact of it all when they finally get back to Ontario.